Welcome to Book Root Readings, your channel for classic, nature, and living children's books. Click the subscribe button to be notified of new readings. Enjoy the story! Are You a Grasshopper? by Judy Allen and Tudor Humphreys. Are you a grasshopper? If you are, your mother looks like this. Your father looks much the same. Your mother laid her eggs at the end of the summer. She laid them deep in the grass, just under the ground, and covered them in frothy stuff. The froth hardened into a pod to keep the eggs safe. You and your brothers and sisters slept in your eggs all winter, but now it's spring. Time to hatch. Push all together to get out of the pod. You look a little like a tiny worm, but that's only because you're wrapped in a worm-shaped covering. So unwrap yourself. You're still tiny, and you don't have any wings, but now you look like a grasshopper. You're hungry, so eat. Eat grass or maybe some leaves. Clover's nice. Eat and grow. Unfortunately, your skin is hard, so it doesn't grow with you. You'll have to take it off. Luckily, there's a new one underneath. Eat and grow and change your skin again. Now you have wing buds on your back. Change your skin again. Now you have small stubby wings. Eat and grow and change your skin at least four times. The final skin change is the slowest and the biggest. Struggle out of your old skin and hang from a grass stem while your wings grow to full size. At last, you are a fully grown grasshopper. You're bigger and stronger than before. You have six legs, two pairs of wings, two large eyes, and two short feelers. You have tiny ear holes on the sides of your body above your back pair of legs. On your feet, you have suction pads so you can cling to stems. Beside your mouth, you have palpi, like tiny fingers, to help push in your food. This is a bush cricket. You could tell it's a cricket and not a grasshopper because it has long feelers. Don't stand around looking at it. It may be eating a leaf right now. But bush crickets eat grasshoppers, too. Don't get caught in a spider web. Spiders eat grasshoppers. Don't get too close to a frog or a toad. Frogs and toads eat grasshoppers. Watch out for birds. Some birds eat grasshoppers, too. It's a dangerous world out there in the grass. Always be ready to escape from danger. You could fly, except you're not very good at flying. You could hide. You're very difficult to see if you creep down among the grass stems. Or you could hop. After all, you are a grasshopper. Your strong back legs are bent up. Straighten them suddenly and you'll be catapulted through the air. You can jump amazingly high and travel an amazingly long way. You're very light and your skin is like a suit of armor. You won't hurt yourself when you land. You have a row of tiny pegs on the inside of each leg. Pedal your legs up and down fast. The pegs rub against your wings and make a ticking, chirping noise. Keep going for about 20 seconds. Have a break, then start again. If you are a male grasshopper, chirp loudly to attract a mate. 
If you are a female grasshopper, you could chirp back if you want to. The important thing is to mate and lay eggs for next year. However, if your mother and father look like this, or this, or this, you are not a grasshopper. You are a human child. You don't have wings. You don't have feelers. You don't have ears in the sides of your body. You probably can't jump amazingly high. Don't worry, you could do many things a grasshopper can't do. Best of all, you can make music without pedaling your legs up and down. Did you know? The grasshoppers in this book are common green grasshoppers, but there are more than 7,000 different kinds of grasshoppers. Also, they are closely related to crickets, stick insects, cockroaches, and earwigs. A grasshopper can jump 20 times the length of its own body. The locust is a large tropical grasshopper that is very good at flying. A swarm of locusts can eat a whole field of crops in one night. Most grasshoppers die at the end of the summer after they've laid their eggs.